from high to low, we were talking about concepts a couple, a couple of minutes ago, principles. I'm going to go right back down to sort of nuts and bolts. Hobie, how are you bending this plate? What instruments, what are you going to use to bend this plate? And do you, is it just your basic knowledge of, of the anatomy or are you trying to use a template when you're bending a plate? So uh, I like to use the they're simple little F benders that come on, I think they come on the small frag set. Um, <clears throat> there's a... There's, a, there's a, a typical ridge on the posterolateral aspect of the fibula. It's very posterior distal, and as you come up, it becomes more anterior as you come up the bone. So that's the contour that you need to accomplish. So just seeing a million fibula fractures, you can kind of get a sense of where this ridge is. Here, distally, it's posterior, and then it starts to come up, and it comes more anterior as you come proximal. And that's really where you want your posterolateral plate to sit. So the twist is almost always... Uh, keep the plate posterior distal and have it come anterior proximal a little bit and you give it a little bit of bend at the same time and it'll contour it almost perfectly. Um, a lot of cases you want to leave it slightly under contoured so when you apply your screw that is essentially going to be the screw that traps the oblique fracture when you put that screw in, the plate's gonna finish its contour very nicely to the back of the bone, and you're essentially trapping one fragment between the other fragment and the plate.